we have to do is to take the input from the user so that we can enter that particular input over here and click on search and then proceed further to do that let's go back to the code that we have this thing and let's create a sequence let's name it sequence take user input take user input then create it done so next what to take the input from the user let's use input dialog box this is the input dialog box I've just dragged it and the title of this will be recipe okay and the label please select one from the below there's the caption I'm saving it and going back to the properties of it we have to give him some options so I can give all the options available say uh, for that matter say apple banana mutton chicken fish prawns and then tomato cucumber chili and all that but just to segregate that particular options are inputs let me take an array of inputs say fruits vegetables meat got it okay so what this options will do is it's an array of options so that the user can select from this particular provided input okay and then we have to save the output of this into some variable control k choice okay next so let's see what will be displayed from this and I'm dragging the message box and into this goes the choice variable click somewhere and then try to run it once run the file see we have given the title the caption please select there should be one from the below I have selected fruits it's the result is fruits in the message box okay so we were able to take one of the input from the user 